much for coming. Rocking the boat has done a lot for me. I, I love rocking the boat because it keeps me off the streets. This boat took us four months to do. Uh, we are rocking the boat, which is a youth development organization based out of the Bronx. They take a whole semester here of school to work together in a group to really come together and create something that starts as nothing. And they see it from the roughest rough sawn wood through to this epoxy finished boat. Out of all the boats that we've done, this is our most beautiful and most sexiest boat ever. <laughs> it's almost finished with it and it looks real good. This is so awesome. So cool. Rocking the Boat has this thing that it, it sees things in um, students or kids that they might not see in a regular basis in themselves. So if a student like might not think has low self-esteem, like, you know, hey, you know, you have great leadership qualities and you can do this and this and that. So I think that's great. Before this boat hits the water, and always before a boat hits the water, she doesn't know her name yet. It's just written here, but she doesn't know it. We have to tell her. So what we're gonna do is we'll lift her, put her right on the edge of the water, and then we'll name her, and we'll pour some water on her. Nice! For safe voyages. skill that we're trying to teach is not boat building as much. It's more trying to give kids a grounding in building something with their hands, be that a boat, which is a very charismatic object to capture their imaginations. The major benefit that we're trying to give them and that they do get out of it is that they realize that something like this is possible and that really gives them a sense of a longer term vision. Today is we're gonna split you guys up into two different groups. I am an on-water educator. I teach high school students how to row a boat out in the Bronx River. I teach them basic boat terminology and I teach them some water quality testing as well. I started this program actually as a student and worked my way up from student to intern to apprentice and now I get to teach kids at Rocking the Boat, we see our students as whole people. So they, are, they come to us because they're interested in being boat builders or going out on the water, learning how to row, learning how to fish, how to navigate. But in reality, they have all these other interests that they want to pursue. And the idea is how do we figure out how to assist them in pursuing those things. They are still working as boat builders and, and the on-water environmental science aspect. However, we teach them how to use those skills and transfer them to any, any career path. So today, Rock on the Boat is throwing a barbecue for the public. We're giving free public rows. We're going to show the footage of what the students did so far in semester. You know, since Rock on the Boat first started in 1996, you know, it's evolved for so many years now. You see all the past boats we built, it. we always launch it into the Bronx River. Rockin' the Bull has done a lot for me. I've been there since 14 in high school. I graduated from high school um, and I've still been with the program. They helped me do a lot with schoolwork. They really focus in on your schoolwork. Eddie has been recently accepted to the Carpenters Union Apprenticeship Program. Working with Rocking the Boat, they found a way to talk to the Carpenters Union. Um, and yeah, I got an interview, I got in, they said I sailed right through my interview, and it was rocking the boat that helped me out to find it. My daughter likes the program very much. She's made um, a lot of friends there. She's been doing really good in school because they really look at the academic skills there and um, there's just a lot of good things that came out of this program. The old
only criteria we have is desire and the ability to show that desire and effort. Good job, you're doing a great job. Can you read the, can you take the bearing well? 194. You can show that through a written, very, very simple written application. You can show it through your interview, just through showing up. Um, and, you know, we don't base it on uh, grade point average or prior experience or anything other than kind of the brightness in your eyes and the desire to do this work. Thank you.